Mr. Abbotson, are you ready for questions? Yes. Director Ward, please tell me, what is the purpose of this? You have the city of San Clemente in what we're doing, and then you're talking about the public on a Facebook page. What correlation are you making? Spell it out. Madam Chair and Director Ward, the correlation that we're making is that when you go look, if you go to the Facebook post right now mm -hmm. and you were to click on it, it would take you to the private back end of the Parolski Research website. It's not available to the public. So in order to receive the draft of the survey, which you'll all see is, Matt, is, is marked draft version six, in order to receive that, the person who originally shared it would have had to have been the owner of Parolski Research, which was the firm that the city of St. Clemente so are you making an accusation of Adam Pabalski that he shared it with the public? No, he Already would have had to have been like the to know that. Uh, Director Ward, he would have had to have been the first person to share the link. I'm not saying that he shared the link on the Not My Folder Facebook page. It is an internal City of San Clemente draft of the survey that was contracted for in the proposal. So if it's an internal city draft, I think it's relevant to the public and to this board. You can pull it up on Google, all of you, right now. Pardon me, please do not shout out. I resent the accusations that I think you're trying to make that San Clemente is working internally with the public, that the public doesn't have their own views and can't figure out the same facts that we have all figured out. But what you're talking about on the survey, I actually don't know anything about. If you were to go to it and you click on the survey, it's marked St. Clemente Toll Road Survey at the top. That's the name of the file. And it's on the Facebook page. And it, it is. It is on the Not My Toll Road Facebook okay. page. That's that is the only other me. place that uh, we have been able to find in the public record where the survey is presented. Uh, I also think it's um, factual that the survey presents negative and misleading information about what is in front of this board. Uh, and I felt it incumbent to uh, make the board aware. Um, I hope that answers the question. Any further questions, Dr. Ward? No. Any other questions? Sure, any other questions? Yes. Yeah. Director Marriott. Thank you, Madam Chair, for the gentleman. Um, what the hell are we doing here? Yeah, is my question. Can, can you can you capsule in two or three sentences what you're accusing people in San Clemente of doing? Just two or three sentences. Can you crystallize the exact? allegations. Chair Group and Director Marriott, I don't mean for this at all to be an accusation. This is a presentation of strictly public It's information. clearly an allegation. Could you just crystallize what you're suggesting? Because what I'm seeing right now is that the TCA has a public relations team that works very aggressively, in a, in, as they should, uh, billing for the services. And the opponents in San Clemente, or Route 14 in particular, have hired public relations. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. The rest of it is the third leg of this, and we are now in battle mode, I would suggest. And so I come back to what the hell are we doing? I, I mean, this is, this is we, we are now, we're now in the mud, okay? And the comment that was speculated that it's going to divide communities in half off that sheet you showed us has been playing out for some time now, right? We have people who don't want their home taken, and then we have people in whom appear not to be as concerned about the people sitting on the freeway. We have people sitting on the freeway who appear not to be concerned with the people whose home may be taken. The TCA can take somebody's home with the stroke of a pen, and we're going to fault them for hiring a public relations firm. More, more importantly, on a broader basis, what the hell are we doing? Mm -hmm. I guess that question is. So, we're, we're, the, the next leg of this is fights in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. So, so this, this makes no sense to, to be in this battle mode now and, and to have sunk to this level. At some point, without the mo with the, our motivation is to get regional transportation enhanced. Their motivation is to save their homes and parks and schools. I don't begrudge them fighting their battle, uh, it, it, and, and it plays out every day. They, they, they got big signs in the cars. They're skipping soccer games for for rallies. They're they're up nights. It's playing out every day. I get that, but for us to be doing it for as proponents, when we have when the agency has the power to ultimately do this any one of the routes, if it's feasible, it makes no sense to me to be deployed in the same tactics. Mr. Abbott, response? Chair Group and Director Marriott. Um, I, 
I'd like to respond. You don't mind oh, sure. the chair. Yes, Mr. Crane. So mm -hmm. I, I think that this information is being brought for your discussion. I think it was uh, determined that we need to, from the point of view of the communications that we're trying to do, to make you aware of really the scope of what we're trying to deal with. Our goal is to get accurate and full information out there to the public and to each of you as board members for some difficult decisions that you're gonna to have to make. We find it disappointing that the San Clemente City Council, you know, engaged in a planned campaign of antagonism and misinformation, but you need to be aware of that. And to the point where they are attacking board members in their city and then putting out a poll there that tests the misinformation to see which is the most effective. We are not here to say right or wrong, merely to inform you that our challenge of getting the right information out there of getting us on the right path to finding a balanced solution to our traffic problem and what we're up against and why it is important that we have a robust communications on our part to get the right information out there. That's our goal. Today's item was merely to inform you that it's a big challenge. And here, and this is some of the root of the challenges that you need to be aware of in terms of providing the resources so that we can get accurate information to the public and to you as board members. Director Shea? Yes, thank you. Um, number one, I, I appreciate what Director Marriott has stated, but I do think, absolutely, I, mean, I want to read this. Uh, this clearly is a scope of work, a document that was approved by San Clemente City Council. Uh, we have to create a fair playing field so we understand both sides how of the is issue it clear? and how we need to address it. Um, I personally have been, I don't know how many other uh, directors have been approached for a public records act, but we have spent thousands and thousands of dollars investigating oh me because of someone requesting, you know, negative background information about me in the city. Nothing, as I know, was produced. But what I have a real problem with, just, um, and I need to read through this, but just reading the first three pages, City councils cannot spend taxpayer dollars doing political outreach. They can't do it, it's illegal. So if you've approved the scope of work, uh, Mrs. Ward, in your city, that you are clearly doing political outreach and activity, you have violated the law. You cannot do that. So I think we need to look into this. And I appreciate, I appreciate that our staff or whoever has brought this to our attention. It's you not true. Better, Mrs. Ward. You, can't be doing you look at our city council okay. agenda, you Mr. will Ward, see you have to it, it, Ward, it is in public. Excuse me, it doesn't matter if it's in public. I have the floor. It doesn't matter whether it's in public, you cannot vote to spend half your dollars to do political outreach and political um, maneuvers other agencies and other people. You can't do that. You should know the law. You guys so do I it all day long. Be investigated. Well, so I, me. Me. I would me. say that that was well, not politicized. That you're misdefining it. Let's address Wendy Buckner's permission uh, vehicle as well. Excuse me. It would be so much, Members so much easier if we just went home, right? Just would just listen and just listen to this and can we get to the lies? Thank you very much. Just for the record, I want to make sure I understand. Um, what you put before us tonight, this was then, uh, this proposal was approved by the City of San Clemente's City Council. The proposal, uh, excuse me, Director Beal, the proposal that is in your list of exhibits was returned to this agency as part of a Public Records Act request. In that proposal, it lays out survey and research information. Also included in your exhibits is a draft of that survey. Uh, as well as exhibits of public communications that bear a very striking resemblance to what is in that proposal and in that survey, which is also a message text. Did the city of San Clemente ever engage this consultant to carry out these activities? Yes, on July 18th, 2017. What was the vote? Uh, I believe it was unanimous. Therefore, have any taxpayer funds been spent through the city of San Clemente <coughs> for this purpose? The proposal lays out somewhere in the neighborhood of $100,000. Um, and if I understand the parliamentary record from the city of San Clemente, that rainy day funds were used in order to, uh, in order to fund this expense. Do we 
know whether any of those funds have already been spent? No. Uh, I am not aware of this time, no. But um, I would share deeply the concerns that we heard from Director Shea. There are restrictions under California law on public agencies engaging in illegal express advocacy. The goal for the every agency is to ensure that the best decisions can be made for the public as a whole. And it's important to ensure that that hasn't occurred. I find what I see before me I'm so glad we put together new law. very alarming, yes. somewhat shocking, and worthy of digging into. Uh, and we need more facts on this because what we've seen before us today causes me great concern about the legalities of what yeah, has, what has happened, the ethics of what has apparently happened, and it, we need to get to the bottom of this. You guys need to pay down your bonds. Yes, thank you. That's all um, you need to do. I'm having difficulty understanding. Um, we have one side that is saying that they're uh, shocked that a public entity would go out and uh, hire someone to do surveys to see what their public feels about a topic uh, and then to turn around and put a report together of the pros and cons of a position that you want you, the public, your, your electorate is, is, is giving you. It's shocking that we should spend money to bring some co consultants in to give us more information about what our people want those that elected us. It's just so shocking that we should spend that kind of money, yet what brought this to our attention and what brought this to a head was the money that the TCA has been spending with its consultants to put a spin on how San Clemente is creating a stop for the entire county as far as its traffic flow, when all we are really trying to do is uh, protect our kids, protect our canyons, um, protect the land that has been set aside already for development that is already there. I have no problem with a, a 241 connection down south as long as it doesn't tear through established and built communities. And this is what all these plans are doing that the, the agency has brought forward. All the city of San Clemente has been doing is what our electorate has been, we've been elected to do, and that's to protect, protect the health and welfare of our citizens in our town, and that's what we're doing.